Hi guys, Linda Entry with the Red Carpet Report. We are here at Castaways for the 39th annual Saturn Awards. We're going to speak to a bunch of sci-fi fanatics and maybe a couple celebrities too. Come on, let's go check it out. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Beautiful dress. Thank you. So, the Saturn Awards. Your movies, Hatchet. Tell our younger viewers who are just getting into like sci-fi a little bit about your movies and what inspired you to write, direct, and all of that. Well, I think sci-fi and horror is the ultimate escapism. I think if you watch something like a romantic comedy or a drama or anything like that, there's always a part of your real life that you can really see in there. And I mean, to some extent you can do that with horror and sci-fi, but it really is the ultimate escape. I mean, never in my life will I ever be running away from a seven-foot-tall you know monster with a gas-powered belt sander. It could happen. I'm just saying, right, you're happen. still pretty young. There's a lot of life to live. Right. And life is changing all the time. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. But the chances are pretty good it's not going to happen. Pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean... But they're the most fun movies, especially like, if you're going to pay to go see something in the theater. Like, go see a sci-fi movie or a horror movie or an action movie. Like, you know, like all those dramas. That's awesome that they win all the awards and stuff. You can totally watch those at home. Um, at but movies should be about escapism, I think. And about, you know, being able to do something that you wouldn't normally be able to do or see. And... And the you know, communal it's fun. experience, the yeah, commu like true. of going and seeing a movie yeah, with an audience, together. Yeah. yeah, or cheering together, or yeah, whatever it is. So, what's your creative process, though? Because two two Hatchet movies now, third. I mean, did you always know it was somewhere in there? Or how, like, what's your process? Um, he doesn't sleep. I don't he doesn't sleep. eat. Uh, I never see him. Um, what else? You have awful nightmares. Um, Pretty much like that, right? Yeah, I drink it? a lot of Diet Coke and eat a lot of Skittles. Like that, yeah. That's sort of my, my thing. But don't mix it with Sprite because that's a bad <laughs> night for sure. Yeah. If, you, if you have Skittles and Sprite, that's like, you know, it's yeah. just like It's like over. waking nightmares. Like, yeah. I'm still awake I'm and like I'm screaming. I'm afraid and I'm, he's going to hit me. Woo! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, you starred in these movies, right? Uh, yeah. yeah well, did. What was your experience like? Because having, you know, the creative genius behind it and then having to you know have his vision how was that for you um well it was really interesting because i started out just doing makeup i did the um the test makeup for young victor crowley because i was a makeup artist and um he already had the molds made so i ended up being uh young victor crowley in the first one and the second one plus doing key makeup on the movie um and then in this one uh he just wrote a script that just happened to have a girl who kind of fit who I was and so you can actually see me in it. So it was it was really interesting because I got to do three different things for the movie. So I definitely feel like a swing swing person when it comes to the movies. But it, it's great. It's fun. What's next for you? Well, my TV series Holliston is in the middle of its second season right now. Okay. Episode four just aired last night. So hopefully we have a season three coming, which I hope to have news about very soon. Um, and then I have a project called Digging Up the Marrow, which is a documentary about um, monsters. And it started out sort of just wanting to talk to artists about where did the ideas come from. But then you start meeting people who actually think monsters are real. And then you meet somebody who wants to prove it to you and take you to the place to show you. And um, that's where the movie really sort of went off the rails for us, because now it's not even a documentary anymore. I don't even know what it is, but we're still shooting it now, and it's just been insane. And I think I believe that monsters are real. They're under my bed. Come to my house. They're under my bed. <laughs> Thank you so much. You guys have been loved. If you like this video, guys, make sure you like and subscribe and live long and prosper. You like that? Bye, guys.